Hi! Welcome back to A Very Happy Place. So last year I let's play this little game called Super Lumi Live and didn't know what to expect at the start, uh, but as things went on this became one of my absolute favorite platform games in the world, and I went through almost all the content that was available to me. I may have mentioned a time or two that there was an expansion planned for this game that was coming out sometime. It's just been announced that it's coming out very, very soon. It doesn't quite line up with uh, my recording time. But I thought it might make sense to do a little, uh, little warm-up session here, since it's been like almost exactly six months since I last played this game. I never hear this much of the startup music. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> so some of the things I didn't do here, uh, here in my save file is 200%. Uh, yeah, last played in November. I have, um... So yeah, I have all of the... Everything I can get in the levels. All the gems, all the aces, all the S rank times. But what I don't have is all the achievements. Some of them I am no longer eligible for in the save file. So there's, uh... That would be... Oh, there are two secrets, right. Wait, where are they? Here we go. Speedrun Live and Super Safety Live aren't gonna happen here. I'd have to start a new save for that. Um, I want to just kind of like fiddle around in the levels, remember how the controls work, and uh, see if I can pick up a few of these. So one idea I had at the end of my last LP of this was that maybe one of these secrets could perhaps be for opening the level editor. Um, ooh, buttons. Okay, right, yeah, so relearning what, what button does what in this game. Editors. Level editor. Okay, this is what the level editor looks like. Should I use my mouse? Maybe. Back objects. Front objects. Uh, oh geez, okay. There's a definite learning curve to this. S, I'm gonna assume that's where I start. ES, I don't know. F is probably finish. Okay. That's what the help looks like. All right, I kind of just want to mess around for like a few seconds here. Is there a test button? Verify. Verify. Snap. Okay, sure. Pen zoom. F6, play level. What are these blocks that I've placed? Okay, so some are in the front, some are in the back. Got it. Okay, incredible. That's an S rank. Those are the times set. What are these times? 18 minutes. That's very slow for... Oh, hey, my uh, my death and restart statistics are still here. Okay. Um, I want to exit this. How would I do that? Okay. This is, looks like what a level editor would look like. What's GG? Whoa. Whoa. I love how technical this is. Okay, I could certainly learn to use this, but uh, it would be a process. Uh, yes, I am. Okay, so that's a level editor. Didn't give me a thing. That's fine. Uh, that's not it, but I checked it. So let's go for some of those others. Let's play some levels. Uh, I'm going to go all the way back to the first level. Uh, I can get there a little quicker than this if I remember my buttons. Here we go, like that. So the pilot, I was thinking, looking through these, that maybe I could get full pelt here. Probably not, it's a Lumi, that's gonna be a very specific level. I have an idea, there's a... There's one that's mostly made of bouncers, but that wouldn't necessarily mean I don't need to double jump. That's just a matter of preserving my jump momentum. Mmm, three star though. So I do still have to play real well. But yeah, it's just a matter of doing weird things in the D-pad. That one's weird. Uh, again, that would require a specific, well, three specific levels. But let's try... Okay, one, one more time. What I'm going for right now is full pelt. Complete a level while always running in the same direction and not hitting a single wall. Always running so I can't ever release the run button. Okay. Uh, let's try it. So don't hit any walls. Oh geez, right, this game is fast. That's right. 
Uh, okay, so that's a failure. What's the reset button? Is it this? It is. Okay. Uh, well, let's try this. And, like, I just want to know if there's, like, an impossibility here. Am I forced to stop at any point? Okay, if I take the upper route, maybe that's viable. Okay, it's coming back to me. Okay, so I have to jump weird here. Let's, uh, okay, so let's let's do some routing here, just, just to learn. Uh, that's gonna be tricky, but I, I don't know right now that it's impossible. Oops, okay. The timing of the saws is gonna be different, um, based on when I arrive, so I need to know. Okay, so they're in very friendly places. Ooh, okay, so we got a boost there. That boost is not ideal for my purposes. So far, I haven't run into an impossibility here. Okay, I'm on the route. Like, this, if I could finish from here, this would do it. Okay, that's fine. Now let's look at what's in that section. I want to jump very early there, because I get a boost if I jump too late, and the boost puts me on a saw blade. So basically, this is an auto-runner now. I mean, that's kind of how it played for most of the, the S-rank runs. <laughs> and yeah, this is one of those situations where this time I don't have the option to stop. Gotta just keep that thumb pressed down all the time. Okay, so this looks viable. But the question is, like, what's through there? Can I still hold right after that? Okay, just just forget the forget that I failed. It's fine. I just need to look. In terms of saw timing, I can probably deal with just whatever. Let's just see if like level geometry is possible here. Looks like it, unless that smasher goes down at an inopportune time. Even if it does, I have some speed controls here with the uh, the platform boost. Okay, sure. So I bonked. That's fine. Okay, so going through here. Sure. Uh, those did line up when I was at full speed. Let's assume that would line up at full speed. I have to hope that would line up. Oh, I have checkpoints off. That's right. Uh, that's probably sensible for this process because, like, I'll be restarting if I if I bonk or if I stop running or if I die. Uh, so. Okay, that's fun. I'm still boosting. Oh, jeez, okay. Okay, so. <laughs> gotta get past that point. I guess... So if I'm not... There we go. So if I'm not, um, concerned about saw timing right now and platform timing... Like, that'll be stage two of this. Checkpoints should be okay for this testing. Alright. So yeah, let's assume you would be friendly to this. You could be, you could be. Okay, I totally could have gone under there without stopping. Yes, this level works for this. Okay, great. So checkpoints off, restart level. All right, so now it's just a matter of executing. Okay, looking good. Now, careful with that boost. Either go early or go really... Let's see if I can go over that. I don't actually know if I can. So if I go late and jump over, yes, that works. Yeah, okay, that's probably the way to go. Okay, but if I don't bump on the ledge, I don't get the double jump and I go in the spikes. All right, so, finesse. Okay, got the landing, mm, but then that happens. Okay, short hop. Then, I don't know, I'm just gonna go, and it's working out. Okay, so I bonked. Do I go up or down there? I feel like down might be better, but both are probably possible. Down looks a lot friendlier, though. Let's go down. Ah! Okay, a little early there. That's fine, that's not. Okay, so I got a single jump, then, hmm. Okay, that's good. No, no, don't do the double jump there. Okay, don't double jump here. Uh, do a double jump, don't land on the platform. That's the actual way to go. Whoa! Okay, uh, big jump, don't land. Uh, I want to go down. Yeah, up is impossible. Okay. 
Big jump, don't land. Go down. Okay, that was basically it. Okay, I got this. Just gotta make that last jump and, well, you know, everything leading up to it. And that should be it. Ah! Oh. Oh. Okay, land a little early there. Big jump, don't land. Go down, and then watch out for this. Uh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, don't miss, I missed, okay. I had it except I missed the goal. All right, that's the last obstacle. Uh, right, land early, big jump, don't land. Go down, go over this, dang it! Oh, I'm going so fast. Uh, I'm a little uncomfortable with it, but I think it's good. Okay, okay. Now land here, go here, do this, don't miss the goal. Huh? Ha! Huh! There we go! That should do it! Yeah! Full pelts! Alright, got one! Fantastic. And a new best, too! Well, of course! 17 ranks up! Nice! Okay, so 51st place. Good! <laughs> Alright, well that's nice. Uh, okay, so got one. Man, it feels good to be playing this again! Oh, this is exciting! Ah! Oh, this is good. Alright, it's a Lumi. Complete a level without double jumping. So, is there any potential? I think there is not any potential for this, because that first cliff... The first high cliff forbids this, right? Yeah, okay, well, there, the, the double jump tutorial. You just, just straight up can't do it there. So... Yeah, getting that achievement would involve snuffling around for a level that where it would be possible. Maybe one of the space levels? Maybe one of the space levels. Let's try the first space level and see how that goes. If all I'm after is just completion without double jumping, is that possible here? Well, okay, not if I get lost in this pit. So if I can avoid that double jump, what about the rest? I think so. I don't think any double jumps are required here. Yes, okay, so if I can do without that one, I can totally do without that last one, too. I think this should be possible. Uh, so I can just go straight down to you. So the issue was... Where exactly? Here, and I can totally do that. Okay, great. So just be moving in the... some direction there. Just don't double jump. So go here. This one doesn't matter. This one does. I need to be moving aggressively to the right here. There we go. Okay. Okay, that should do it. Alright, good call on the space level. Now I need a lot of momentum here. I want to hit the corner. Okay, I can totally do that hitting the corner. That's definitely possible. Eh, I don't think I want to use the word definite there. I'm pretty sure that's possible. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, so go down, land on the right. Be moving right. Okay, transfer to the left. Then I just kind of got to do basically that in the last room. This one is way out over the ga uh, gap. This one is centered over the land. Oh, even that one I need some speed. Yeah, so the last one, like they progressively move farther and farther left relative to where I'll be jumping from. Okay, so land here. Do, th uh, do this. Maybe this is also the time when I need to learn that dash move that I never was any good at. Um, what's the walk button? There we go, okay. I still can't do it reliably, like to make it actually happen. Tap dash, then immediately after, tap the move button. Okay. Let's try it here. So I do this, then I dash, and I don't get enough. Okay, I think I can do that hitting the corner, it's just I need to be at full speed, and dashing won't help me with that, really. Okay, full speed. <laughs> oh, shh. Okay, so just don't hit that last token. Wait, why am I hitting that at all? I can just fall into the thing. Sorry, token flipper. I don't have a name for those. I wonder if the level editor has names to these. Let's learn if there's a term for the uh, the rotation token thing. 
Oops. It might just be referenced by graphic, in which case that wouldn't answer my question. Oh geez, do I want to open that thing again? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's fine, I know how to escape it. It's not that scary. Gotta figure out how to select objects and stuff. Okay, so I only need to hit these two, and then I just need to fall on this. And there we go, that should do it. It's a Lumi! All right. Cool. Um, so, those weren't too hard to figure out where they would be possible. These require me to find three different levels. Okay, let's do the, uh, the learning thing. Label editor. So, tiles objects. Oh, here we go. We got names. Okay, keycard mover, keycard game clear mover. Okay, I see what that's going to be. Arrow launcher. Wait, arrow launcher? What the heck is that? Arrow launcher. What's it look like in game? When was that ever a thing? What is that? I guess I saw that once. I do not remember that object at all. Oh no, parallax is misspelled. <laughs> uh, silver token, gold token. Okay, we were checkpoint. Double jump. Double jump power up. Double jump power up. Oh, that's like old prototype stuff. This doesn't exist in the finished game. That's pretty funny. What's that even look like? Uh, tiles. Why is this? Why do I have lava selected? Okay, how do I delete? It's not right-click. Um, R mouse, delete tile. You say that's an object. Okay, so delete object. Tiles. What is, why is, why is my, my cursor lava, but then when I click, I place something else. And when I click here, nothing happens. Undo 23 out of 23. Uh, front obs. Edit tiles. Okay, that's fine. Auto edge, sure. No, that, that doesn't, doesn't edge. Double jump power up. What's my... Is it just that this is just what tile looks like? I, is this like, is that just the color of my, my tile? Why is it all lava-y looking? Okay, well, anyway. Um, yeah, this, this is not the right... How do I... I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to get an answer to a question here. Mega jump power up? What's that? Double jump recharge? Y hold on, that was a thing in this game? That's like a jumper thing. I don't think it has a graphic. Final boss exit, spikes, laser, energy disc, rotating disc, liquid hazard pool, hot rock, hidden spikes, ground fire, fireball. There are pages. Roto block? It's a roto block. That's what it's called. Is there a rotate button here? Augment A, if available. Mouse wheel change type, there we go. Wow, okay, that's fun. Uh, there's fire there now. I didn't click, but it just placed itself. Okay, here we go. Got different tiles with the mouse wheel. Okay, okay, I see how it is. So different corners. There must be a mirror button because I'm not finding the opposite of this. How do I... Place tile, delete tile, change tile. Left control, mouse wheel, rotate tile. There we go. Okay. Okay, and that's how I would change. Left control and mouse wheel, augment A. Okay, but that's for tiles. Okay, different controls for this. How do I make you go a direction other than right? That was roto, roto block. Chokey? Toxy? Ah, I see. Enemies. What's this level look like at this point? Okay, so this, that's not a thing. The double jump power up. Oh, that's not solid. Um. Got the boots of justice. You can now double jump. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Old stuff. It's so funny that it's still there. I love it. All right, anyway, uh, let's get out of this. I got my answer. It's a rotoblock. All right, will I remember that? Maybe. Okay, so achievements separate from profile achievements. Right, of course. Again, I'm not eligible for these on the main save file, uh, as it is. Okay, well, I mean, oops, no. Oh, tokenless mode, hold it. Whoa, wait, there's a new game plus? Hello. So, theoretically, next time I launch this game, if everything goes well, there's there's gonna be another, another thing in here. Without tokens and tolls. Okay, so maybe that would be the ideal way to play for Momentous Maximus. Because, yeah, then I wouldn't have to do the overworld routing. But that'd be interesting to route that. Hmm. Maybe I'm not eligible during New Game Plus? I don't know. I wonder if any of these have to do with New Game Plus. I Did I know this was a thing? I don't remember it being. Uh... Ah! Ah! Okay, cursor always goes there. I keep keep dodging around it. Um, I'm probably just gonna, like, play a random level here somewhere, but, I mean, sure. Let's play a random level with the idea of evaluating. Well, now, okay, so three-star. I'd want something with a very generous three-star time. Well, three things with generous three-star times. Left or right, less than 30% of the time. Very vertical things would be ideal for that. So again, maybe space levels, but those usually aren't too forgiving on the times. Okay, so let's see. Look at something with a large gap between the gold time and my time. So here, there's leeway of like, eight seconds. I mean, look at it. Right, but still I have to go fast, that's the thing. Like, accelerate and then keep going. So unidirectional... That's a weird way to play. So just tap it when I hit the ground to keep my speed going. But otherwise, stay in the air, don't hold anything. But see, then that needs... that requires me to be able to have a lot of air time here. It's 30% though? Like... Ah, it's hard to tell when I'm actually at full speed or not. Okay, so... That feels so weird. I think I... Do I decelerate in the air? It's hard to tell. I thought I didn't. But it does feel like I'm getting a lot slower doing that. Like, not holding right. Hmm... I cannot tell. Okay, well, in any case, I don't think this is a good level for uh, for either of those. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have a lot of... Uh, likely have a lot of luck snuffling out, like, which, which levels are appropriate for this. Let's just play a level. What level do I particularly like here? I mean, lots of them. Let's go to the special world. Yeah, okay, so if I'm preparing for... An expansion. Let's assume the difficulty might very well pick up right around where special place is. Wonderful. Oh, hey, this is one where you don't double jump mostly. Spiketacular. Fantoxic, charged up. Cricket and spiraling. I don't know, let's just do uh, wonderful. Remind me how this is. Yeah, okay, I remember how this is. So just casual play. Just get through, don't need a particular time. Uh, right, and that's where I can double jump, so I am required to. I am wearing the boots of justice, so I can double jump. Uh, if I'm playing casual, let's turn on checkpoints. That's fine, just just want to play the level, that's all. Okay, right, so I have to, have to single there and here, everywhere. Netherworld portal, oh, I should learn what that's called. Uh, and I can just go here. Okay, cool. Wow, not going for ace or, uh, or, um, time. And with checkpoints on, boy, this changes the feel of the game substantially. This is just so relaxed. Despite the, you know, post-game difficulty. 
post-game difficulty is a lot less than I'm used to here. <laughs> okay, so just uh, chill here for a moment, and that's fine. Oh, right! Now there's this other aspect to this game. The, uh... The ace times are kept... Oops, I uh, didn't jump early enough. Are kept separately from S ranks, so I could, like... Another potential activity here would be improving uh, ace times. That's a very self-directed thing, though. Like, there are no there are no actual goals to that. It's just, just whatever I want to do. Um, uh, okay. So I need to single jump, double jump, and make it there. Okay, great. All right, I played a level. That was fun. Let's play another. Just remembering what endgame difficulty is like. Spiketacular. This was, yeah, this level that I love so much. This was one of my absolute favorites among, like, a game full of favorite levels. <laughs> Every game in this level is my favorite level. That's not true. There was that one slow elevator ride that was, uh, less favorite than the others. Uh, it's still perfectly fine. That one sticks out to me. Um... I remember Space Station gave me a lot of trouble, but was fine once I learned the trick. Was it Space Station? I think so. Ha! Anybody watching this in the future, <laughs> it's probably gonna have a weird time because I've, like, dramatically reduced in skill and confidence since the episode with the immediately previous number. Uh, that's fine, it's just because six months went by. I'm shaking off my rust. Ah, oh, shoot, I went too high. All right, that's fine. I'm here. Where's here? That's backward? Okay, yeah, that's backward. So I'm gonna go here. Uh, I don't need to touch you, right? Yeah, no, that was involved in earlier parts. Right, yeah, that little uh, on-the-ground turnaround. That's always a tricky one. Do I need both of those? I think so. What? What? Touch. Touch, jump, and there we go. There we go, I say. It's not done. Yeah, see? You can still die right there. Yeah. Ah, shoot. Okay, that's fine. This is a very spiky level. As the name flies. Okay, right, so, high jump. There we go, okay. All right, so I think I've basically de-rusted um, as much as I probably need to. Uh, and got a couple of achievements. I think I'm probably not getting those other two right now. I'll have to uh, review like every level with an eye toward those, and I need to find three of them at once. Like, those just seem like kind of a pain to get, but they're interesting. Uh, all right, well, cool, and yeah, replaying again. I should definitely try a new game plus and see if it, uh, see if that does it. Okay, cool. So hopefully in the next episode, we'll be playing a whole new expansion for this. Brand new levels, and that's going to be a huge amount of fun. All right, I'll see you then for that.